Police and crime lab technicians search for clues along an Omaha Creek. New tonight, two arrests and two recent Omaha homicides. Good evening, I'm Mallory Maddox. And I'm John Nicely. The search efforts for crucial evidence connected to the Teresa Longo homicide investigation is over. New details, though, on the murder suspect, Reginald Briggs, who is in custody on numerous charges. Our Aaron Murray continues our breaking news coverage. Aaron? John Mallory, as you said, we are getting new details. You know that we have from police today. Now, one of those is Reginald Briggs, the arrest suspect for murder. He is here at the Douglas County Department of Corrections. Take a look at his picture right here. Arrested on first degree murder charges, use of a firearm to commit a felony, prohibited person in possession of a firearm, pandering, and two counts of domestic violence. Now, we do know that those counts of domestic violence, those are not connected to Longo, but another woman that police say is his girlfriend. Now, police did confirm with us that Briggs and Longo did know each other, that they were acquaintances, um, and they did get another lead today that took them here. Take a look at our video. This is a search of Little Papio Creek near 62nd and H Streets. Police were looking for evidence connected to the crime, but they wouldn't say what, just that it was crucial evidence to the case. They searched in the creek and on the banks for most of the day, just wrapping up the search just after four. Now, also throughout the week and this weekend, we have been reaching out to Longo's family. They did not want to go on camera today, but they did release to us this statement. Take a look right here. They say Teresa will always be in our thoughts, forever loved, will never be forgotten and is dearly missed. Teresa was a burst of sunshine to everyone she met. Her smiles, hugs and humor will be missed the most. We ask for prayers for the daughter, family and friends that are left behind. Now, police did find Longo's body on Friday, but they have not released yet if that was the day that she was killed. Also, why she was at that home. Again, we do know that she did not live there, so still many details under wraps. And so police are seeking more information and tips about this case. And if you have any, they're asking you to call uh, Omaha Police Crime Stoppers at 444-STOP. Reporting here live with photographer Alex Hassel, Aaron Murray, WOWT. Six News.